Hey everyone and welcome back. Now in today's video we'll be discussing about the Terraform state management. Now as your Terraform usage becomes more advanced, there will be some use cases where you will find that you might have to modify the Terraform state. Now it is important that you never modify the Terraform state file directly and manually. Instead of that you can make use of the Terraform state command. Now under the Terraform state, there are multiple sub commands that can be used to perform certain activities. So these are some of the primary list of sub commands. Let's quickly explore that. So you have list, you have move, you have pull, push, remove and show. And this is the associated description for each one of them. So let's do one thing. Let's discuss each one of these state sub command and also look into it in a demo perspective. Now the first one is the list. So the terraform state list command is used to list the resource that is part of the terraform state file. So if you look into this command which does terraform state list, it basically shows you the resources that are part of that state file. So let's do one thing. Let's quickly have a quick demo so that this can be better understood. So currently I am in my CLI and if you see that there is one TF file that is available and the name is state-management.tf. So let me quickly open this up. So you will see that this uh, specific TF file, it creates a EC2 instance. It also creates a simple IAM user and we are storing the state file remotely in a S3 bucket. And uh, this is the reason why you do not have a local state that is available. So all of the things that is part of this file is applied and created in AWS. Now, if you do a Terraform state list, it basically shows you the things that has been part of the state file. That is basically the IAM user and the EC2 instance. So in fact, if I have to show you, so you have this EC2 instance and you have this IAM user and both of them are being returned when you do a Terraform state list. The second important one is the move. So the Terraform state move command is used to move items in a Terraform state. So this command is used in many cases specifically if you intend to rename any existing resource without destroying and recreating it. So we'll be discussing about this second point in a detail in a minute. Now one important part to remember is that due to the destructive nature of this command, this command will output a backup copy of the state prior to saving any changes. So let's do one thing. Let's quickly have a demo on that. Now, as we were discussing that uh, this resources are already created in AWS. So if I have to quickly show you within the AWS, you see that we have one EC2 instance that is running and we also have a IAM user called as load balancer, which is created. So now let's quickly open up the state management. So let's say that uh, we want to change this web app to my EC2. So let's try it out and see what exactly happens when you just change this specific aspect here. So now when you do a Terraform plan. So now you see what exactly it is doing is it is adding one resource and it is destroying one resource. So if you will see here, it is adding AWS underscore instance dot my EC2 and it is also destroying AWS underscore instance dot web app. So this is what we were discussing in second pointer where if you want to rename an existing resource without destroying and recreating it because here when we try to rename it is destroying and it is also recreating it. So this is something that we might not always want. We just want to rename the resource. That's about it. So in such cases you can make use of the Terraform move. So after clearing the screen, let's try it out. So you do a Terraform move. Now when you do that, you have to specify the AWS underscore instance dot what was the value earlier, which was web app. So if you will do a Terraform state list, you will see you have AWS underscore instance dot web app. So this is what you will enter here and you will also specify the new one, which is AWS underscore instance dot my EC2. All right, let's go ahead and press enter. So it seems we have done some typo. Let's try it out. So we have done a small typo here. It should be Terraform state move. 
all right so now you see it says that you have successfully moved one object so under the state management here you will have my ec2 but when you do a terraform plan over here you should not see the destruction and recreation of the resource so currently now it says that there are no changes and the infrastructure is up to date the third one is the pull so the terraform state pull command is used to manually download and output the state which is part of the remote location so basically it will go ahead and show you the remote state now this is very useful for reading values out of a state file and then you can also make use of jq to further interact with it so let's quickly look into it now as we were looking that in uh, this specific uh, demo file that we have we are making use of a remote state which is s3 so if you want to look into the values that is part of this specific state you can make use of the terraform state pull command so let's try it out so i'll say terraform state pull and now you see you basically get all the outputs that is part of the state file that is within the s3 bucket so you will see that you have a arn associated with the im user the name of our instance is my ec2 now and so on the next command is push so the terraform state push command is used to manually upload a local state file to a remote state so ideally this command should not be used very often this is something that is very rarely used the next one is remove so the terraform state rm command is used to remove items from a terraform state so items removed from the terraform states are not physically destroyed in the service provider state now items removed from the terraform state are no longer managed by terraform so for example if you remove an aws instance from the state file the aws instance will continue to run but the terraform plan will no longer see that specific instance so let's try it out so let's clear the screen let's do a terraform state list yet again and now let's go ahead and try to remove this specific instance so i'll say terraform state rm aws underscore instance dot my ec2 all right so now you see it states that it has removed the aws underscore instance dot my ec2 now do note that this is removed from the state file the instance in the aws will still be running so if you look here if i quickly refresh the instance will still be running the only thing is that it is removed from the state file and it is no longer being managed by the terraform so if you quickly do a terraform state pull now within the resource you only see the resource associated with the im user there is no resource associated with the ec2 instance that is available now since you have this specific ec2 block still available next time when you do a terraform plan it will try and create the new ec2 instance so let's look into it so you see it is adding one thing and if you look here it is trying to create a new ec2 instance that is part of the tf file the last one is the terraform state show so this command is used to show attribute of a single resource in a terraform state so it can happen that a single terraform state can have multiple resources so if you want to see the attributes and the associated values of a single resource then you can run the terraform state show followed by the associated name so let's try it out so in our case since ec2 instance is not part of the state file the next thing based on which we can do is the aws underscore im underscore user dot lb so let's try it out so i'll say terraform state show aws im user dot lb so now it will only show you the details associated with the im user so that's the high level overview about some of the sub commands that you can make use with the terraform state command so with this we'll conclude today's video i hope this video has been informative for you and i look forward to see you in the next video